This should be a wake-up message for everybody out there. Who's watching your elderly parents or grandparents? You looked around to see if someone from the agency could fill in for you. Yes. How did you find the plaintiff? We were friends. Then more troubling signs. How many days did she work? I know she was not there most of the time. There was money missing, food stamps missing. I'm not convinced you worked. Judge Judy. Miss Broyles, tell me who you work for. Donna Scheffler. Individually or through an agency? Through an agency. You had been taking care of this lady for a long time. Yes. And you wanted to go away for a period of time on Mother's Day to see your mother? To see my daughter. You see your daughter. And you looked around to see if someone from the agency could fill in for you. Yes. This Mother's Day weekend. You couldn't find anybody through the agency. Yes. And you found the plaintiff. Yes. How did you find the plaintiff? We were friends. Do you have any particular training in taking care of the elderly? Not a... Uh, no. Medical That's training. That's either yes or no. Either you went to nursing school... No, I didn't go to any school. schooling. Nothing. Do you know if she had any particular training in taking care of the elderly? No, I know that she was trying to take the steps to become a caregiver like myself. Good. So she hadn't done anything in order to fulfill the requirements to be a caregiver. Yes. But you asked her to fill in for you anyway. Yes. And she did. And she wants to be paid for that time that she filled in. So my question to you is, from when to when were you away? I was away May 13th through May 23rd. For 10 days? Yes. And was your arrangement with Miss Clark that you would pay her for the days that she worked? If I got paid. Nah! That sounds ridiculous. <laughs> That's ridiculous. You mean she worked for 10 days? She did not. She how many days did she work? I'm not exactly sure, but I know she was not there most of the time. My witness went to see Donna. He's a friend of hers as well. The two times that he went to visit her, she was not there. There was some other guy there. There was money missing, food stamps missing, medicine Listen to me. I don't all over know the that. place. I don't know that. All I know is you hired her with an arrangement to pay her. Which I paid her $100 before I left. Just a second. Well, $100 for 10 days translates into $10 a day. Right. I was going to pay her more. I was going to give her my wages if I got paid, but she knew as well. Don't there tell was... me what she knew. Listen, Miss Broyles, I may look dumb, but it's just an illusion. That's, if you that's got the arrangement paid, if you that they got had with paid, me. Listen to me carefully. If you got paid, that would have been because you submitted a time card indicating that you were there for so many hours. That would be the only way that you could get paid. So you would have had to submit a time card to your agency and say, the job was covered for those 10 days, pay me. The agency would have paid you. Which I did not. For do well, you don't look like a philanthropist to me. You don't look like somebody who would say, I'm going to take out 10 days' worth of wages from my pocket to pay you to take care of this old lady. You don't strike me as that kind of gal. There was never that kind of arrangement. This program gives their caregivers five days' paid vacation every three months. They denied me because it wasn't in advance. So they denied me. So I didn't get... And I did not try to collect those hours from my agency either because I did not work those hours. I can't work those hours and then give Just her second. the money I get for it. Listen, five days paid vacation amounts to how much money? Oh, roughly $400. How much did she tell you that you were going to be paid? $500, two be 200 before she left and 300 when she got back. So she was supposed to pay you $500? Yes. How much did she pay you? Nothing.